Some more stuff. Did I sit on that side last time? I can't remember. Or was that this morning? I've no Maybe idea. it was. So here we go. <laughs> At the end of the last video, I began to realise that it was possible to play. This is a lesson, by the way, sort of a lesson. We have to caveat that when we've put this series up and we've called them jam lessons with Danish Pete and the captain or whatever. And everyone in the thing below basically says, I'm a terrible student because I won't learn my modes and scales. And Pete's a terrible teacher because basically playing in front of 80,000 people with Tom Jones <laughs> is not qualification to be a teacher. Um, Just, and that's correct. Which is, yeah, it's probably pretty, pretty, true. Pretty cool. And I'm right. saying that I don't want to learn modes and scales. Uh, and, um, and I don't want to teach him anything. Yeah. So basically, <laughs> all I want to do is be like Pete. I just want to play his riffs. And actually, to be honest, I know I know I'm never going to put the time and energy into to, to be as good as Pete. But ten thousand hours. That's what I right. say, isn't it? Starting now. <laughs> um, but all I wanted to do, and I've had the breakthrough. Hurrah! Was know that if I was playing just a standard, you know, blues turnaround using those three yep. chords, that I didn't have to do the whole thing in an A blues. Which is what I would have done historically. Yeah. So if you play play those three chords around, not on the loop, so, just no, play, this, play the three chords. What I just played was just two chords. It was just the one to the four. Fine. And back again. Yeah. There was yeah, no yeah, five. Yeah. Okay, fine. So play the right. one to the so, four. So, uh, so I would historically have gone. Which is fine and that's what I've been doing for the last 57 years of my guitar playing life and I kind of knew I always knew there was something else that I could do yep so I didn't know it I kind of I, I sensed it like a Jedi like <laughs> like a Jedi that doesn't realize he's a Jedi yet um, and we talk about this major and minor and people have always gone oh it's just four frets below and da -da -da -da. yeah and you like, just move it down to the same thing and it's not E, it's not D flat, it's C sharp. Yes, we know that, but start so, explaining that to Lee. So here's forget about it. So and I've suddenly started to realise that as long as I play, so here's my standard, you know, sort of uh, I could play an A blues up here, or I could play the same shape four frets lower. And provided I play that four frets lower shape over the right chord yeah. within that sequence, yeah. I can add a different flavor to my playing, which to be totally honest with you, was all I really at this <laughs> stage kind of wanted to do. Yeah. So can you can you play so that? I'll play um, this again. Yeah. And you faff about between I will those two. Faff. Three, four. Yeah. 
So, there you go, see? breakthrough, massive breakthrough. Now, and, and to be totally <laughs> honest with you, I'd, I'm sure um, it's kind of crazy. You know, I've been honestly and truthfully playing the guitar for 30 years or something. <laughs> and I don't know, I, that, I haven't had that light bulb moment no. until, now I still don't really, because but then Equally, you start, you have to go theory and then now from it, there on. Right? But if you played those same two chords and the first one was a minor chord rather yeah. than a major chord, yeah. I can't really do that, no. can I? So you I've can, still you, you got to kind of... No, you won't be... Yeah, let's so you, let do, try it now. Three, yeah. four. See, immediately um, I'm, next one. I'm playing the happy notes. Then it's fine, right? Then it's fine because yeah. I've gone back to the minor. You're back to the minor thing, yeah. So that's all I really need to kind of know. Now, I, I suppose in fairness, it's fairly easy from, I, I, you know, when I say it's easy, you can hear whether the root note is a major chord or a minor chord, regardless of the sort of inversion that Pete decides yeah, to play. Yeah, you got, you got, yeah. sad, I'm happy. So that's all I'm listening for is that change. Uh, and then, to be honest with you, everything else that Pete was kind of teaching me in lesson one about play less, don't fly into the vibrato straight away, I, that's all stuff yeah. that I want to learn. Yeah. There's going to be licks and stuff that Pete can show. But really, just trying to get out of playing everything in that in, minor blues. In. I play that uh, all yeah. the time. And, I, and Pete's, been, you know, Pete's been saying, right, practice your scales and all this kind of stuff. And I kind of am, but I'm really... Um, I'm o the only stuff that is retaining in my brain are shapes. Its scales yeah. aren't retaining. But we talk, it's just we talk, shapes. As we talked about this morning, when we talked about playing the G scale, and then moving it up, oh, and then where well, you got the shapes. You remember I said one, two, three, one, two. Mm -hmm. So you get this shape. Instead of thinking about notes and all sorts of stuff, yeah. think about your shape. The, the, put yeah. it on the two strings, and then next. And, and that, then you can start moving it around. That shape, though, that that first one you did, which isn't your, you know, naturally, if I was going to play a, a G major scale, I would, I wouldn't, I would play the sort of the traditional. You know, I'd play that shape, mm -hmm. and I don't think that's such an easy shape to kind of memorize. The second shape that you show me, the sort. Of, That's almost like an easier shape. It's really weird. We got look at this freaky, look at this freaky extension here. I'm struggling to do a two fret. I'm struggling to do a two fret uh, stretch With between these two my fingers. first and second fingers. And he's literally, I tell you what. Look at that. So that's a that's, five. And then you can stretch up. I mean, you you have to sit a bit like weird like this. No, but you I'm sorry, but that's just you've virtually dislocated your first. But finger. this 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 bit here, it's the same with the thumb. So when you look Is at it? my thumbs, look. So this. Well, this one here is the is the one I'm putting my pick on, right? Yeah. Here, and this one is the one that goes behind my the the. That's so, freaky. See that? So th that yeah. would be the one that's behind on the on here, because I was always told to sit like this. Yeah, classical. And then, or not sit like that, but kind of, but put my thumb behind. Yeah. Which then has then done that. It's another yeah. thing. Is the bit here on my hand? I've got this calluses bit from just rubbing on, on yeah. the guitar. It's strange. You've got similar calluses all across. Yeah, that's here as but well. But I don't know where that's come I'm from. I'm not sure where that's come from yeah. either. Um, it's really interesting. And stuff I'm going like blind. That. So, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Chappers uh, often said to me, "Why don't I try playing with the guitar over this yeah. leg rather and he does, than this he does, leg?" He does the strap. He puts yeah, the strap because on. because he gets when when you stand up, the guitar will be in perhaps a more natural position yeah. for you than if you're because I again another one of the things that I've spent you know 99% of my guitar playing life sitting down playing the guitar yeah. and so what happens is as soon as I stand up so you know the guitar moves from here to here and it's kind of like even just as something as I, insignificant as that creates it a makes you play in a different way I mean I I remember when I studied uh, music a while ago yeah. 30 years ago or whatever it was you I had the guitar up here to to, yeah. to make sure I could put my thumb down like yeah. that not have that and then I kind of get in, I got inspired by a guy called Hannibal and there was you know there was Hannibal yeah not not he's yeah Gustav something I was inspired Gustav. by him Swedish guitar player every who Saturday Kobe. at about 3 p.m. <laughs> no. without a doubt but anyway he had a white strap and he had it down here 
and when he played, it was like he was had it. He would have it knock my head, but it would be down here, right? So, so the, so the, it would make you play in a different way, and that completely kind of changed the way that I would. <laughs> just <laughs> throw that in, but seriously. Sorry. So, so I, instead of instead of being able to do all the jazzy things and where you can because you ha have to yeah. start up here, you can do all your stuff and do all the guitar stuff. But yeah. when you're down here, it's very it's very yeah. Yeah. your hand automatically will do like this. So when you were playing, you had to kind of go. You kind of you kind of got forced to play yeah. it in a different way, and that was that was like I, a complete I, eye I opener still, for me. Like I, I see guys like Slash playing yeah. with the guitar literally down here. And going, man, that must be, it's such a different, uh, so much more challenging to play yeah. that stuff than if the neck is, you know, relatively high up. Yeah. And you, I mean, it's, when, it's you, a, when you're doing those stretches, you know, that, those exercises and just doing the scales, where's your thumb then? Well, so it's still relatively, it's, it's still, sort of it in depends the on where, where, yeah, it, it depends on where you go. It'll, it'll kind of be around, but it depends on what you're playing. I mean, when I first started, there was always that sort of I put uh, thumb, 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 yeah. all the time, and, 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 and it was like, oh, stop, stop that, because it's fine. I mean, I nobody died of playing a G chord like this, right? No. No, not that I, I know think, of. I don't think I mean, so. And and the cool thing is, where uh, last night I had a, uh, I went to my father-in-law's house, and there was Rodgers. another dude there, the Rodgers, and we 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 were we were talking about this all about doing the raking thing. Yeah. Um, and it was we were talking about doing that, but there's a lot of spillover. And then learning to mute the strings yeah. and only play the one. So there's there's a lot of that that sort of comes in where you can use your thumb. But later on yeah. in life, you go, oh man, hang on, I can do my funk stuff. It's really anyway. It is it is weird that because I certainly remember very young, you know, like very young, you know, in my in my teens when I was learning to play this being conscious of the fact that some methods of tuition wouldn't allow you to put your thumb around the side. Yeah. And then, but lots of my favorite guitar players and, and quick cheat chords that you were shown and stuff did require yeah. your thumb to be around that yeah. side. And I, I do remember never really being sure when I was learning to play, you know, if I, if I learned, I, I, in fact, I do, I think I remember just going, I'd, I'd play a G chord or something like that and yeah. go, but in my mind I'd be going, oh, I must be developing terribly bad habits because I'm not, you know, I know I'm supposed to literally play yeah. a G chord like this. But you, what you're doing um, is you're finding your own way through the music. I mean, it's great when you, it's, it's, you have, you know, if you want to get somewhere with your fingers and doing, being able to do the stretches yeah. and being able to know where, you know, where all of, where all of that stuff is, yeah. that you have to practice it. Yeah. And, and to go. I mean. You know, you have to do that. You do it for hours and hours and hours and hours. Put yeah. the metronome and do it. But it's something that is really, really good for you, t technical, to yeah. learn how to go. When you get further down yeah. the line, you know. Yeah. No, I mean, I I don't do. Uh, my I, I I kind of again I do remember again when I was young somebody saying to me, look, you know, just do your do your chromatic yeah. stuff. Yeah. Just and do it to a metronome and and actually yeah. bizarrely now the, the the hand that I find struggles the most with that is the picking hand. Yeah, it has you to know. keep up with it. And I think that I think it's funny you say that because I think that's most I get that as well. I st I still get that. That the hand can't keep up with what my left yeah. hand wants to play. I mean, I can't, I can't yeah. pick, pick them all. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think a solution for that is maybe try out different picks. Yeah. So whether you have like a, th uh, a small sort of uh, Dunlop prime tone with a with a small tip, yeah. or you've yeah. got a softer sort of nylon thing. Can I try the uh, the 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 because so I, I I'm a big fan. So this is this is another thing we can talk about quickly about because this is really cool actually. So what I what I'll do is. With if I've got this nylon one mil, it, it hasn't made me better, Pete. It's no. rubbish. No, Get rid but of that what, one. what? What did? So Give me on the pick. side, makes yeah. me better. Yeah. On the side, you've got this little thing, right? Yeah. You can hear that. So it'll. If I play with the tip, when I play one note, it'll go. It'll slide over the string yeah. nicely. But if I if I take do it with the rounded side with this yeah. bit on, yeah. I can grab the string. <laughs> So I can grab the strings over. 
Yeah. You can, can you hear the difference, yeah. right? So you can hear them. Where I'm kind of going. You know, you can kind of grab onto the swing. Yeah, I can't do that if I play with the with this bit where there's nothing on. It's, it's a, it is a, it's it's a cleaner a sound, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's a much less sound. raspy. But the other one is much more like... You can do the rake. It's, it's so weird that. I mean, I, I love all these little... There's no way that Dunlop invented that plectrum to have the, the the rough bit on there is a grip, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, it'll, it's got, it'll be it'll be a way a way, a no, way of nobody, gripping stuff. Nobody sort yeah. of went. Oh, do you know what? What would be cool is if we put this like rough bit on a plectrum, and then you can. I just think it's players have literally just gone. Oh, I'm yeah. holding it, and then you get a different sound, and then the player yeah. goes. Oh, that's cool. Technique. But 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 I think making sure that people know that is really important sure. I mean, about picks because there is. You know, we look at the Dunlop catalog of, uh, of of picks that must be like six hundred picks or whatever. It's insane, you know, mm. and all different types, shapes, and thickness, and 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 people. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, people tend to sort of go <laughs> gravitate to one pick and yeah. they go, "Oh, that's fine. I'll just play with that." And and then you know, you, they, you need to. Pro you you and Mick did a whole plectrum video, didn't well, you? Well, no, we haven't done. You did one with Chappers, but we sh we talked about it in the video. Okay. And I think picks are really really important. I think people underestimate the picks. I need a magic pick. It's like when you're you running. If like if you're running, you don't have the right. If you're running in high heels, you can't run a, a marathon. I mean, it's the same. You have to dip. You know, if you want if you want cross country, you have to have the little things on the thing, underneath. Right. Thing. So basically. Just buy the right plectrum for every and <laughs> Next everything. Next thing you know, you and Steve. So are where's the, uh, the? I need the G major plectrum. <laughs> so um, what, you have to well, have that, the A one as well. That was kind of we, the, the the main meat of this thing was, ju was just to sort of, and we probably didn't really go over it enough. But let, so let's go back to that original yeah. bit. So what I can I can just quickly add. So yes. what do you want to start doing next? It's target target notes, right? Yes. So this is when you want the next because you know it's a seven. And you, is it an A7? And you know it is a D7, yeah. right? You want to start targeting the... So the 7? Yeah. And the 3rd. In the, And you want to do the same in D. So let's say if I just play 1, 3, 5, 7. Right? So that's out of the scale. So I've got 1, yeah. 2, 3, yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7. It's a, it's a flat 7 because we are now in a dominant chord it's not a we're not happy yeah we're not playing that we're playing okay so I'll do I'll target and then on the next one so I go so is it I'm trying turn, to turn, turn the it. looper down a bit just so that we can hear the guitar. Okay. Right. Are you playing? Is that all? That's when I start becoming, instead of going. That's what I was kind of playing. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah. But then you target it. Right? Well, I'm targeting. So I'm mixing it in, those two things, but I'm trying to target... No, so, so it's we're a flat a, seven. Yeah, so it's, a, so it's, a flat, it's a dominant. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so dominant. it's that note. Yes. And then when you're going the D... Yes. It. So to give you a simple shape to remember, yeah. A. Just those two notes, and then just these two notes. You're moving the, you're moving it down. So and then if you're playing the a blues, a, if you're yeah. playing a blues, you move it up to here because that's the E, and then down to D, and then to A. 
they're all so close together. Yes, but it, but so what happens now is that they're turning around. So A, right, up here. Yeah. So then you've got the seven and then your third, right? Seven and third, seven, third. Yeah. Then you move it down to D, then it becomes this third and the seven in this shape. You can also go. Then you've got a different inversion. So you got. Okay, we're gonna get we're we're, we're in danger no, of running too far ahead here. Yes, no, no, no. But okay, try now. Mm -hmm. Don't start going up here yet. Yeah. The dusty area. There's no money up here, kid. <laughs> so if you if you if you just try when you're playing your solo, and then target on the Ds, and then go back to the A. So you might I'm, have to I'm slow that down. Okay, so. I can slow it down. So if, if I go, let me play the chord. Let me play the A, and you just try to see if you can hit three and seven, right? So uh, try to play, and then I go here. What was it? No, I don't know where I've gone now. So you got look into your shape of your yeah. chord, because then you've got your three and your oh. seven. So you can go. So let's say you, yeah. So you, you can do you can do a riff. So play the play the A. So the A first. Yeah, and then on the D. Uh, no, I can't. That was. Yeah. So they, because they're so close together. When you're playing, so, and then, okay, and then if you go, that's a good lick, lick. Try that. Okay. okay so here, first one. Yeah. No, no, no. Play. See what I'm see, see see what what's happening a little bit. You are targeting notes on the chords, which makes you sound more expensive, if you will. So I so that's what I'm doing. So what I'm finding the chords around. So I'm finding all those notes around the board, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once you learn your way around where all of these notes are, right, then you can start going. So I'm kind of looking. So I'm looking for those wherever else they might be. Yeah. I mean, it's good to lick that. So uh, in A, you know A is up here. Yeah. So you'll have A. Like your chord, like this. Look, you you do your, you'll do this chord. So I know everybody's been, somebody's put up, uh, not everybody. Some people have said teach Lee the cage system, right, with this C A D cage. But I'm I'm just gonna say I, for me, I'd learned without all of that. And it was, it's just become a thing recently. We're going, what is that even? And I've never seen anybody play a B flat like this. Or, or, or a D like this. I mean, so let's just quickly just let's leave that for a little bit, right? And, I, and as soon as because anybody <laughs> starts talking about cage systems or, you know, mixed you mitosis yeah. or anything like that, <laughs> just all I want to know is just like, Can, like you say, are you going to go want, my way? I want to know the target note and yeah. I want to know when I should be playing majors and minors. So and, try now, mm. try now to put the loop on, play a little solo. Try to see if you can find these notes when you know it's only two chords A and A and D, right? Yeah. Try that. Here we go. And then D. There you go. So you find it. So look, this is the cool thing about this. Up here, you've got a. Yeah, so you got your look. You got your. Yeah, a I've got the A. Here, I've right? got it. And your D, 
Then you just move them down, half a step. So you got them up there as well. I mean, that, that in itself is pretty cool, just to play that. <laughs> Because you know you got 12 and then it comes again up here, right? Just so simple and so when you literally can't, your fingers and your brain is everything, it's just going, it's not what I've been playing for the last 700 years. <laughs> but this is the problem, it's just isn't like, it? The problem is to get out of that cage. It totally is the you that's don't want to be in a cage. Problem. My <laughs> biggest problem is just, it's just unraveling. But see, this is helps. This helps with it does because it uh, kind of. I mean, just did you can you can see oh, oh same note. They're just in an inversion. You know, of it, you so. know. What I think I need. What I need is I need to play guitar and you stand next to me with like a, some sort of a stick. And every time I just go back like that, and eventually like through. It's like because you, you got you. Everybody reverts back to something. Right? For sure. And you, you do. I mean, you do. You'll do that when you don't know what you're doing. And then you can go. I'm trying to see what else is. There you go. You go. There you go. What's it? Yeah. That's not. You remember that that one lick? I showed you that sort of Robin Ford type lick. Yeah. Right. Playing on the court, look, I'm playing on the court. And then I go. And then you do an E. Seven is dominant, so they're all sevens, right? It would be different if it was all minor. Yeah. Just ask a question. question. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you know on um, that Matt Schofield track? Yes. Is that yeah. dominant? Yeah, they're all they're all the same, all dominant. So he'll he'll play on that track a little bit, and then he'll. Uh, there you go. And that's the flat seven, right? Yeah. No, that's the that's the that's the third of that's the D. The third of the D. And, and he'll also play, when he goes to the D, he'll play. So he'll also play a lot on those notes. So you go, that's a seven, that's the, that's the seven, a petio, a petio. You know, here I'm pulling on it. I love that sound. So I Anyway, so so you can so he'll he'll play a lot on the target those notes as well, right? All the time. Right. Uh, so he'll play that literally. So that's exactly yeah what just what just said. I've got a good lick here. Good lick. Play this lick, man. This is a good lick. What was that again? And then break it off. Bra shorter. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, I was just. All oh, right. That, that's your old way. I that's know. your old lick. Yeah. Ah, 
Slow. No, slow. Slower. You can't play. If you can't play slow, you can't play fast. Look, 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 pay attention. <laughs> let it, let it, let it, let it, let go. <laughs> in this is like you get those little listen to when I'm playing look look um, and the, uh, this hand as well I'm literally pulling off and doing it really gently like um Because I'm targeting the seven and the three yeah. that turns into that. I mean, th that's this is what you need to yeah, then yeah, get yeah. to, yeah. right? The first bit is playing. You know. All of those notes are in the dominant seven chords all the way around. <laughs> right. I mean, is that a sort of a conclusion? I think. I think something? it is. I think it is because it, it's one of those things. If, if we try and run on too far and whatever, people will. We could sit here for hours I, and hours and uh, hours. But it, yes, I think. I think that's my two things I want to take from this, which is which is that sort of altering, you know, between those two shapes of. <laughs> And then I need to just... Yes! There you go! What did you do? No, was it? I can't remember now. But no, but you, 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 but you know what I mean. There you go! Now... You have to remember that those yeah. notes will only work if it's on that chord, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, So yeah. if you're here and you're playing, it still kind of works, but it's a little... Actually, it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> but, you know, so, but you're kind of more in a, in a, in a minor vibe because you've got a, a major minor so third in it. So that's any, all right in blues. Are there any of the backing tracks on the, the list that we could do something like that over just to jam out No, with? but maybe I should do another set of backing nothing? tracks. Well, that is should. more like a, like just two well, there chords. Is, there is one that's a little bit like it. Try it. The swinging blues in B flat. Let's go for that then. That sounds like a good time on the weekends. Put your keys in that bowl, baby. <laughs> that's right. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. And uh, I think I think you got a little bit. It's out of this, a journey. Yeah? It's not. It's a marathon. Yeah. It's not a sprint. <laughs> Walk down the hill. Yeah. Walk down the hill. What I really want is the sprint. I just want to. I just want to. I want to be the world record playing guitar it's never player. Never ever gonna. You know. You have to seconds. put in your dues, man. But I've got ten thousand hours. I've got to be Mo Farah. I can't be Usain Bolt. I've got to be Mo Farah. Yep. Yeah, that's what it, is, it takes. Mo and power. eat loads of corn. Eat loads of corn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's try it. Let's, let's see try what this, it. Let's what try happens it. here. Okay. Please asking why I did this in B flat and not in A, and that's exactly why I did it in B flat. <laughs> Exactly why, why, because you all of a sudden you, you have to play it like right next to the other one, which is everybody plays a blues and A or a blues and E. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just a little challenge, but it's just a blues still at the end of the it day. Is. It is. It's all the same. It's just, yes. I'm so used it's to annoying, like being on, I'm, I'm used to being on the frets with the black. In fact, you can see where the where is on the fretboard here. <laughs> yeah. Nobody writes any songs in flats, Pete. No, that's just, where you're they wrong. just don't do it. That's where you're wrong. Look at my frets. <laughs> right? Look at my frets. <laughs> Fine. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, right, so here we go. 
This is called Swinging the Blues in B-flat. And the backing tracks are here. Lee, take it away, bruh. I think we're good. Practice, 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 <laughs> practice is all we need to sen, do, people. Sen, sen, you have to be calm as well when you do it. Because you, angry it's fine practice to make is bad. Is Happy seen, practice is good. Angry <laughs> practice. We've seen is that bad. angry guitar player. On, uh, <laughs> yeah. Every time he does something wrong, that's me inside at the moment. Up. That is literally yeah, me. Yeah, but you have inside. to be angry to get there. You, you have to, you know, you have to. You make the mistakes and then. It'll be yeah, fine. It's fine. You know, everybody makes but, mistakes. Yeah, just not generally to a YouTube audience of three hundred thousand people. No, because they the take <laughs> because they do loads of takes to make sure they never make any mistakes. Wow, well, there is that's that. Not, you know, that's not what we do. As you tell. <laughs> anyway, look. Thanks for uh, accompanying me on this journey of pain. Um, <laughs> Next time he'll be uh, put up on a big rubber cross and I'll whip him uh, uh, into uh, shape. Uh, hopefully, uh, anyway, hope, hopefully you're enjoying this. Uh, gear today has been an expensive strat into absolutely no pedals at all into a Victory V130 amplifier. And an expensive uh, Telecaster, which there'll be another two of these, you know. There will be. Coming we're at some we're point. making like a replica of this guitar. Yeah, not as heavy relic as this, though. Similar. Uh, and then a Mod Honey 2 and a Diesel Looper into the uh, V40D. Happy days. There we go. See you next time. <laughs> Hey 
everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.